Good morning, YouTubers. Happy Sunday to everybody. Uh, Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm sorry. Happy Saturday to everybody. Well, it's Sunday in, in Australia, so. But happy Saturday to everybody here. Big hug. And um, just want to send out a few shout outs there to everybody watching me. I didn't know I had such a huge following in Eastern United States, in Massachusetts. I did not know that. Anyways, okay, guys. So. What is going on? What's my topic for today? Well, I'm going to tinfoil my hat today. I'm putting on the tinfoil hat for this one. Because this one, this one's a big, big one. And it might be coming to a city near you. Or it might be coming to a country near you, if you want to put it that way. Decaying of money. Or money becoming decayed. Or what am I talking about? Okay, you know when you get, uh, someone gives you a Sears card or a Bay card or a card to go spend at one of those big outlets and stuff, and some of those cards expire. You have a year to use the funds on the card, right? Right. In some countries, they made that illegal for them to expire, but it doesn't matter. My point is, what if they did that to cash? So they're pushing for a cashless society, so when they start dropping negative interest rates, they would do that. The whole negative interest rates thing is is designed so that people will go out and spend more money and prop the economy. So this way people will think, oh damn, if they're going to take my money out every month, I might as well go out and buy that new boat. Or I might as well spend my money on a new house or another house or buy that, um, the, the, that uh, investment property, right? Right. So that's what they want to do. When they start implementing negative interest rates, they want to see if people spend more or just don't bother carrying a balance or any savings. Now, would they decay money? Would money go up obsolete? Well, if they put the law in and says, and they say by September 1st, 2025 or 2022, money, cash, will no longer be accepted anywhere. Now, I got a very interesting story for you guys about that. In Ireland, and I'm not, I mean, I mean, you can look this up. It's a, I mean, I saw this, I saw it on a news broadcast, I saw it on two news broadcasts, and I was impressed. Society in parts of Ireland and towns and stuff actually are using the punt or their, their old currency, the punt, and they're accepting it. So the vendors there are accepting punts still because a lot of people don't have euros or, or, or refuse to change or whatever the case is. But there are supermarkets and they're exchanging it between. As long as you got 15 businesses that are on board to still ex exchange legal tender, it might still work. Okay, but I'm not talking about big things like paying for a housing renovation or uh, buying a car. I'm talking about, oh, I pick up 30 bucks in groceries, right? Or I pick up, um, you know, like things, right? So there was, there was, um, I know of a silver company in the United States that was uh, basically paying their workers and producing twenty dollar, uh, twenty dollar coins. So they would weigh out the an ounce of an ounce and an ounce and a bit to equal to $20 and they have their own presses, their own machinery, their own lathes and they do these professional jobs and they ship out the coins and uh, they pay their, their employees in silver coins and there's a small community that's accepting those coins in between each other like small community of like the hardware, I think the hardware store was accepting it and I think uh, um it wasn't the post office. They won't accept it because it's government, right? But there was other people accepting it. There was even a car. I think it was a used car lot. You show up with $2,000 in silver, they'll sell you a car worth $2,000, right? So it, it's kind of a model that, pe that people are doing with the punt and the silver. How they're still accepting legal tender in a way and making it legal between us, right? If I, if they want to decay money and, and make it obsolete, they could easily say, oh, well, you know what? This money no longer is going to be valid. But between me and people in this town, we could still find a way to create, like me as a business owner, I will say, yes, I'll still accept Canadian currency. 
uh, old currency, we'll call it OC, old currency, we'll, we'll, we'll accept that here still, no problem, you know, as long as I could come here to Tim Hortons and spend it here at this location, not all locations will accept money, but, but enough that it's worth for me to collect, right, enough for me to go to the hardware store, the local, local hardware store, the local gas station, the no-name gas station, the local, the local, and keep it a, a small economy going like that. I don't know, just kind of throwing ideas out there and what you guys think, right? <sighs> Getting my coffee, you know, that 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 company. I'm gonna look at that company in the states. I watched this whole 45 minute documentary. It's been, it's often it's all obviously taken down from YouTube because it's all bullying and harassment, right? But you see the workers pressing, and they they work eight ten hours a day, and they get paid, and they get paid in silver. They design their own. Uh, Thing. They even had contests with people to bring in a low uh, to draw in a logo or so. I don't know. Like they, they did all kinds of stuff, and I was impressed how they were getting this little tiny town and this economy off the ground with their own. Yeah, and what people were saying, but you can't deposit that in your bank account. Who cares? <laughs> what do you want to do that for? You know, because bartering silver for stuff or trading silver, or legal tendering silver for stuff. I think that's a fantastic. Uh, John F. Kennedy tried many, many, many times. Uh, well, he tried in his era, and he did create, I think it was the half dollar, or the silver dollar, or... Yeah. I'm just trying to think, like, who... Like, there was uh, quite a few, you know... The, I think they had the a gold coin for the U.S., the, 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 the $100 coin or something, and it had $100 worth of gold in it. Um small, small coin, like a small, like $100 coin, and I think they'll have to make a $1,500 coin to cover the ounce, or 14 or 13 1200 whatever it is at the ounce, and they can make a nice big coin, nice and thick, you know, to cover the ounce, right, of, of gold, of what it's valued at right now, but yeah, I just wanted to throw this out there, um, decaying of the dollar, where is the dollar headed, where is it going, let me know what you guys think, I think this is a good video. Comment below.